Hi, and welcome to this short demonstration for eGlobe users on how to load ACES base media. Before starting to load permits, make sure that the data is unzipped. Copy the permit to a USB stick and make sure that the USB stick is free of viruses. Connect your USB to your eGlobe G2. Ensure that no other USB stick is connected to the eGlobe G2. If you have eChart secure, connect your USB stick to the designated USB port on the eChart secure gateway. Open eGlobe and select Chart Loader. Navigate to Settings, then the Drives tab. Check Scan all available removable devices and keep a copy of latest media. Please note, if you have eChart secure, please use Scan Local Path instead. If you have eSync, please be sure to tick Keep copy of latest media. Continue and select the Install tab, then press Scan Drives. The loading will end when a summary of the data detected is presented. In the Check Path USB window, make sure that only the Permit box is ticked. Start processing the Permit data by selecting OK. Once loading is completed, connect the ACES Base Media USB stick to the ECDIS. eGlobe will search the USB and display what it detects. In the Check Path USB window, the Data and Product column boxes should be ticked. Start processing the permit data by selecting OK. The installation process can take more than 8 hours. At times, eGlobe may appear stuck or frozen. Please wait and do not attempt to cancel the process as this could damage the installation. The Apply Changes button will be active after successful installation. The indicator on the Synchronization tab will turn yellow. Please select the Apply Changes button. The system starts to synchronize. At the end of the synchronization process, the yellow light under the Apply button will turn green. To check the latest base media installed, click Settings, select the Drives tab. At the bottom, you will see the latest media title as shown. This indicates the present status, the week number and the year. Now you can see the new ACES base media on your eGlobe Ectis. Our hope is that you find this video helpful. If you have any further questions or if there is still a problem, please feel free to reach out to us at our 24-7 Global Emergency Service Point. Thank you.